Hi, welcome to The Gamesplainer. I'm Jeff The Gamesplainer and today I'm gamesplaining The Brigade. In The Brigade you are a fire chief or a crew of firemen uh, trying to save a fantasy town from inevitable fire and destruction. The game starts by revealing three of these cards at random. After this has happened, one card will be revealed every turn and what this does is puts fire or makes the fire worse in various spaces. <clears throat> so this is the first one that I've grabbed, so I've moved those two up. Uh, we add some fire. How does the game play? How do we win the game? What's the purpose of the game? We are trying to put out the fires. The fire intensity is marked by each of these, uh, these markers. When you put the fire out on a square, you will add a number of these blocks. These are your own blocks. They are known as renown tokens. So if I put out one fire here, because it's at one intensity, I'll add one renown token to that block. If I put out four on this corner, which had four intensity fire, I will add four renown. The number at the bottom of each block tells you how much renown you need. Once you get the full amount of renown as according to the number, you'll remove all of those renown and add a loyalty token. The loyalty tokens are really important because they are how you win the game. You are trying to get either a loyalty token onto one of each of the different colours, yellow, green, purple, blue and the university, or you are trying to get loyalty onto five of the same colour, or three of the university spaces will count as well. If you can achieve any of those possible options, then you win the game. If, however, eight blocks are burnt out, then the game will finish and whoever has the most points will win. What are points? Points are the value of each block that you have loyalty of. So pink currently has three points. If someone has the loyalty of a block, so pink has put out four uh, intensity of fire on this block. He has loyalty unless another player is able to get five renowned tokens onto that block, at which point they will steal the loyalty. So pink will lose loyalty, white will add loyalty and take his renown block. How do we move around and do stuff in this game to put those fires out to gain the renown, to gain the loyalty? Well that comes down to the firehouse board. Everyone's firehouse board looks the same. You'll notice that I've put some little stickers on. That's because this is an earlier version of the prototype, which has changed slightly since then. So I've just put stickers on to make it uh, correct rather than printing out the whole lot again. Everyone starts with zero crew members, two water in their wagon capacity, and four leadership. What those numbers mean are you have your captain, but no extra crew while you're on zero crew members. You have two water capacity, which means there are two blocks of water, they're the blue blocks, in your wagon. And you have four leadership, that means you have four things that you can do in each turn, or four actions. What are those actions? Well, I'll go from the top of the card. They are move your brigade. You can move your brigade, which is marked by this standee. You can move your brigade up to three spaces. That includes diagonally, one, two, three. The second thing you can do is move your wagon. This is your wagon. Your wagon can go anywhere on the board to any empty space or to the space where your crew are. So I might put the wagon down there for the moment. You can extinguish a fire. To extinguish a fire you will take water tokens off your crew or captain's spot. So if I remove two of those water tokens, that will move the fire down two, and I will add two renown to that block. If your wagon happened to be on the same space as your crew, you would be able to use the two water that your wagon is carrying, and that would extinguish that fire entirely and give you four renown onto that block. If you were on a block that had a power or point level of one, and it had a two level a two intensity fire, you could put out both of those intensities to add your one renown to gain your loyalty on that. 
but there's one more renown that can be thrown around, and so you can put that renown on any block that is adjacent, not diagonal. So I could add a renown to that block if I wished. The next thing you can do is refill. Refilling needs to happen at the fire station in the, in the corner. So you'd actually need to, once you've used all of your water, you would need to get back up to the fire station to refill. If, however, you have a loyalty token on a card, you, all you need to do is get to that card and you can refill at any of your loyalty tokens. If the cart is on the same spot, it can refill up to its capacity at the same time as one action, as opposed to having to do it as two actions if they're on separate spots. You can recruit as an action. Now, your starting crew availability is zero. You would need to get that up to at least a one before you're able to recruit. Recruiting looks like just taking the top card out of that deck of recruits. You can perform a crew action. Every one of the extra crew have actions on the bottom of them. Once again, these, the actions have changed since I got this prototype, so I've just put sticky labels on with my own handwriting, so I do apologize for them looking dodgy. That's me, not the designer who's done that. So once you can action each of these um, crews, but each crew has a loyalty, so you're only actually able to action that crew if you have loyalty of a blue uh, tile uh, or blue block uh, for this particular crew member. So I would need to have a loyalty token on a blue block if I had this crew member as one of my crew and then I would be able to use this action to use the action on the bottom of that particular crew member. Transfer can happen if you have the crew and your wagon on the same square. Your crew has used all their water. You take water out of the wagon put it onto the crew, then the crew can go off and fight some more fires. And the final one is the upgrade. You're only allowed to do one upgrade action per turn, and that looks like moving your one of these three markers along one of the three tracks. When you move the water wagon across one, it will add one extra to the ability of what the water wagon can hold. However, it doesn't give you the water. You just need to, you'll need to then go and fill it up to be able to get that extra piece of water. Uh, if you move your leadership up after the second one, you'll get an extra um, action that you're able to do. Crew members, obviously you can get one crew member once you've moved here, two and three. Uh, there is also a special thing that happens when you get to the last spot on any of these tracks. When you move your token to the end of the crew track, you'll get to take a free recruit action, so you can get that third uh, crew member for free. When you get along to the end of the water track, because you can only have a maximum of six water in your uh, water wagon, you're suddenly able to use your water wagon to put out fires on the square where he is currently standing without having to have any crew available. So in essence, it acts as a second crew that you've got running around the board. And when you get to the sixth spot or the last spot on your leadership, you will gain two bonus uh, actions for this turn only. So I guess you'll have eight uh, t actions on the turn when you upgrade this to number six. The only other rules to bear in mind are there are some events that will cause the fire to spread uh, in one direction or the other. Uh, the fire won't spread to anywhere that the crew or a wagon is currently standing. Other than that, I think that I have covered all of the uh, rules for the brigade. So I hope this helps you get a feel for the brigade. I hope this helps you uh, get it to the table. If you have any games that you wish to be games playing, please shoot me an email at thegamesplainer at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter to see what games I've been playing. Subscribe to my videos to keep up to date with the games that I'm gamesplaining. And until next time, enjoy gaming.